What's going on guys? I'm talking about NCAA Football 13 today. I've been playing the game quite a bit, but I hadn't gotten on in a couple days. It was brought to my attention that there was a tuning update now available that was mentioned on Twitter. I'll show the tweet here in a second, where it's actually had something to do with Coach Trust. And I've talked about this before, and it's been a big complaint around the gaming community here with NCAA about how Road to Glory is not really playable on the harder difficulties and Coach Trust is not working the way it should. And it's actually kept me from making any Road to Glory series. All I've done is test out the mode when I was really looking forward to playing it and so it was brought to my attention that the coach trust issues were at least altered. I wanted to see if they were fixed. And so once again, pre-existing character, not making my own yet. I want to make sure it works. So I picked Robbie Rouse from Fresno State as a running back. And I want to go into coach trust here and show you guys that he is a starter. He's a very good running back. One of the better running backs in the game. 93 overall speed back. And now the first time I experimented with Road to Glory, I used Monty Ball, the best player in the entire game. 98 overall running back from Wisconsin. And I was demoted to third string after my very first practice because of coach trust and how it would penalize you so much for a negative run and a lot of times it wasn't your fault. It's like the defense blitzing and coming through the line clean and tackling you in the backfield. That is not your fault. It would be more the quarterback's fault for not making an audible, but we're not talking about real football right now. Talking about the video game and what I'm doing here is I'm showing you guys every single play that went into this practice mode. It was a very average practice I would say. There wasn't any major outliers that really skewed my results too much. I didn't have a bunch of touchdowns Actually, I didn't have any touchdowns, no fumbles, nothing like that that would have been a major outlier. And so I think this is a very good sample here to use for this video. Showing you all 25 plays. And here was one that I got penalized I thought way too much for. That was a bad call for a ball. I just didn't catch a ball. It hit me right clean in the chest. And I should have been able to get it. And here, I actually barrel over a linebacker. I get five points for a lead block, which is more points than you get for a five-yard gain. When a five-yard gain for a running back... That should be your average right there. If you're a good running back, it should be your average. Five yards a carry, roughly. And when I made this video, I went back and looked at my Monty Ball video to see how the coach trust things were changed. And now on Monty Ball, I was getting negative 20 points for a tackle for loss. And by the way, this is all on Heisman difficulty because that's what I play on. I play on Heisman. It's very competitive and very fun. But this mechanic right here, coach trust, is imperfect right now. And so I was getting 20 points for a tackle for loss. And now I'm getting 12. And before, I was looking at this one play. I got like seven or eight yards on a carry. They gave me two points. And so on here, I was noticing I was getting some more points for my minimal carries, like a four-yard gain or a five-yard gain. I was getting a couple more points, but it really wasn't enough to make enough of a difference, I would have to say. And so I was still seeing my coach trust go down and go down and go down. And the only way I could think of to really bring it up would have been to get like a touchdown streak. And that's not realistic. I mean, if you get two touchdowns in a game, you had a good day. But on here, I had a few negative run, negative yard carries. And you really can't make up for them without getting more negative yard carries. You have to get a lot of positive gains and some touchdowns. And so you can see, that was my biggest play on the day there. It was actually a decent gain, but that's not a play that's going to happen every time you touch a ball. Your average will not be a 28-yard catch. You're not going to average 28 yards anything besides kickoff returns. And so I think they still have to do a lot of editing with this. And also one problem I have is that you lose points. These are separate point losses you lose points because of the fact that it was a tackle for loss and you also lose points for the yards that you lost and so it was minus 12 tackle for loss and minus 10 for yards gained and so don't penalize us twice for the same exact thing and here good job practicing you're in no danger of losing your starting position I would like to think different. Look at Coach Trust going here. I didn't get demoted to third string, but I'm a second string running back now after a practice. And what I did here, guys, I wrote down what happened every single play. I used my best judgment to figure out how many yards were on each play, but I used my best judgment, and it was 17 carries for 69 yards and two catches for 28 yards. Those numbers are not great, and they're not terrible. They're just kind of average numbers in an actual game you maybe I would have gotten more carries I was only a sample size of 25 plays that are all designed to go to Robbie Rouse and so I would say there is still a lot of work to do with coach trust and one of the issues I have is that you get penalized so much for a tackle for loss if you get tackled behind the line of scrimmage it is usually the offensive line's fault not every time but a majority of the time that is the offensive line's fault and not the running backs and so maybe my linemen should go sit on the bench while I stay on the field and play road to glory but I mean the, the workaround 
down still is to start your mode on varsity difficulty and then change it so coach trust is at least easier and you can get to be a starter and you can advance through the mode but I feel sorry for the guys who have already started playing on Heisman played through high school and put a lot of effort into it and then they come on the road to glory in the actual NCAA and they realize how difficult it is because coach trust I believe is a little ridiculous at sometimes and I don't really have a problem with the fact that you have to get so many points to achieve your milestones but it's the fact that the negatives you get for negative yard runs and drop and passes and whatnot the negatives outweigh the positives tenfold I mean like literally like 10 times there are 10 times more important in coach trust like no player is flawless and some of these mistakes you're gonna make are gonna happen every game every game a running back is probably gonna have a couple of negative yard carries but in practice it's not that big of a deal and so what I'm saying is coach trust is still far from perfect and let me know guys in the comment section I'm thinking about doing this should I make a video talking about how I would change coach trust and how I would design it for playing Road to Glory. I think I'd like to do that. If you guys want to see that, leave a comment in the comment section. And I'd also like a lot of support on this video if you support what I'm talking about and my complaints about Coach Trust mode within Road to Glory, which is one of the major modes and something really a lot of people enjoy in this series. I want the mode to improve. I want the game to improve. And so if you guys could please leave a like on the video, favorite the video, link it on Twitter, try to send it to the EA employees over there that work on NCAA that maybe will want some community feedback, something like that. I want the game to get better. I have almost 18,000 subscribers. I have a big audience and so I want to help the game get better if I can and if I can then I'm going to enjoy the game more and I'll be, play, be able to play some Road to Glory give you guys some new series and so I hope Coach Trust is altered soon because even though they wanted it to be hard it's a little ridiculous right now I play on Heisman difficulty default sliders I've been playing Madden and NCAA for over half my life I'm only 19 years old I've been playing these games for like 10 11 years and so I feel like I should not have to struggle this much in a game that I've been playing for over half my life and so I'm looking forward to seeing the reception this video gets and the support you guys give me so thank you guys for watching hopefully coach trust is fixed soon i'll see you guys next time